today's video. We look at four golf exercises that you can do indoors. Winter's here, which means one thing, less practice on the golf course and more time with family and loved ones. Therefore, today's video, we're gonna show you how to get a bit more practice in when you're out and about against your will. Okay, we've got a few minutes, family's gone in their heads. Now, there's one important key factor is your outfit because if you get caught with either of these items out and about, both of them are gonna get relocated to a place that's gonna hurt more than 19 points on a last holiday. Now, there's two key items I'm pretty sure all of you are aware that you need on your person when you wanna get some effective goal practice out in the elements. Number one is obviously your wedge that's gonna be hidden under your jacket. And if you didn't think that was good enough, make sure you're packing the Actra Strike mat. Really good for swing path and sensing as the strike location. Okay, the wife's feeling around for some soft avocado, so we've got about 10 to 15 minutes to get some practice in. So the supermarket's a great place to work on your swing path, and even though the Aqua Strike well, that is brilliant at distinguishing where your swing path is, don't neglect your surroundings whilst in the cereal section, as they're a great aid to know exactly where that club head is traveling at impact. Now with Christmas parties around the corner, you're bound to find yourself in a place like this. However, rather than locate yourself on the seats behind me for 25 minutes, this is actually a great place to have a look at full position. Now as I'm going to demonstrate, these mirrors are normally used obviously checking your shoes when you go and buy them. However, they're actually a great place to check on your ball position when you're out in one of these stores. Obviously you drop your Acro Strike mat, which is also again good for locating that ball position, but there's nothing better than seeing where your foot placement is, especially when you've got a club in your hands. Okay, here's a pro top tip. I just told the family the wrong floor. Therefore, it's gonna buy you an extra 10 to 20 minutes before they realize the car's not there. So we're gonna look at club face alignment and there's no better place to practice that than your local car park. As we all know, club face alignment determines 80% of the ball's initial direction. And there's no better than practicing under pressure at your local car park, because you will be 100% liable if it goes wrong. Pressure is the one thing that's gonna affect your club face the most when you're out on the golf course. Therefore, this is the reason it makes sense to practice under pressure. So let me demonstrate hitting the golf ball down the middle of the cars. Now this one, you've actually got a bit more time on your hands as you've popped out by yourself to finally fix the flooring that she's been moaning about for the last five years. You're gonna need some proof when you get back home, so you have to buy something. What better thing to buy than some cheap flooring? Really great for that angle of when you're pulling down on the ball, missing the flooring, hitting the mat. Great drill. Massive shout out to my lovely wife, pregnant wife, for helping me film this today. Thoughts on the video? It's starting to rain, bring on the summer, so you can go back out on the golf course on your own. <laughs>